So some of you might know the former NBA star known as Gilbert Arenas. He is a three-time All-Star, also dubbed while he was in the league, Agent Zero. He is part of the trio that is the Nightcap Podcast featuring Shannon Sharp, Ocho Cinco, and Gilbert Arenas. And he also has his own podcast called Gil's Arena. Well, he went on DJ Vlad a few days ago. He, you know, he DJ Vlad, he has uh, an interview show where he interviews all these former stars uh, in sports and hip hop and all those other kind of things. He has millions of followers. We all know it. He went on there and he talked about the time where he gave his ex-girlfriend, ex-fiance, Laura Govin, uh, some jewelry and happened to finesse his way to getting it back after some things have happened. And I want to talk about it because it's pretty funny. So we're going to get into it and react and get some information on the subject, the situation, if you don't mind. With that being said, without further ado, welcome to Normieville. I, I can't say anymore. I, I'm probably already in trouble for mentioning it to a, uh, well, we, we call you normies. So for this video, I'm going to put a thumbnail in front of the video I'm going to play from DJ Vlad because DJ Vlad does not like people to react to his videos in entirety. So I'm going to put a thumbnail in front of it and play the video and then react to it in pieces. It's about a four minutes, three or four minutes long segment. And then I want to give some information from some past articles on the result of the situation he's referring to. So for all you stop letting the video stop. Stopping the video ninjas. For all you let the video play ninjas, I will leave a link to this video in the description box you can watch without my commentary. All right? Get the fuck out! If you're still here, thank you for watching and fair use. How oh, you gave your girl a fake ring. <laughs> a fake diamond ring. Which I guess, if it were real, it'd be like four hundred thousand. Yeah. What is no, that like? Like, no. like, so I paid, I paid three ninety five. I think like three ninety five. Is it three ninety five or four ninety five for what is the it like real fifteen one. carats or something? It was up there. It had it had big stones. It was. I mean, four hundred thousand diamond all the way around. Yeah, you three. got it. You're talking about like fifteen twenty yeah. carats. Like it's like huge. A huge yeah, it was, it was, rock. It, yeah, it was, it was with a with a massive, huge stone in the middle. Yeah, it was a big stone in the middle, and then had three stones on the side, and then right. yeah, it was. But the one in the middle is the one big. where the, that's where the money went. Yeah. So as you can see, his ex girlfriend, ex fiance, whatever you want to call her, he gave her, I believe, an engagement ring. It was almost four hundred thousand dollars. And of course, we give you know, women rings all the time in anticipation of you know, wedding, calling you my wife, all those kind of things. And somewhere along the way, this relationship is going to go south. And well, he bought her this very, very expensive piece of jewelry that he now has to attempt to, uh, I'm sorry, not achieve, but retrieve without incident. Let's see how he does it. But before I do, let's pause for station identification, shall we? For just $5 a month, please consider becoming a member of Welcome to Normieville. There you will find access to members-only videos and members-only live streams, as well as a host of other perks. Thank you for your consideration. Back to the video. Fake version of that. Yes. How much did that cost you? 10 grand. Okay. Yeah, so what so happened? So it was like a good fake diamond. Yeah, so what happened was... You know, when the proposal happened, it was like, I think around her birthday. Um, is this your kid's mother? Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> what ended up happening is we got in a fight eight days later and broke up. And when we broke up, I'm like, that was a fucking waste of money. I want my ring back. So I was like, how do I get my ring back? Fuck it, I just got to get her back. <laughs> But when she comes back, I'm going to have a fake one and I can switch it at any time. Now that does sound a bit uh, clever, doesn't it? A lot of women out there have commented on this on social media and said it was petty. Oh, you did, you know, you're an a, a, a Indian giver. Oh, you know, you heard with that when people would give gifts and give it back and those kind of things. I mean, let's be clear. This is a $400,000 ring with the expectation of getting married. 
we broke up, the marriage is over, or I gave you this illustrious gift, right? As a man speaking to you, me being a normie, all right? I give you a ring that's $400,000 or you no know, three or four times what I would make, right? I'm getting that ring back too, any way I can. If I can't, and then I got to take an L, right? But if I can figure out a clever way to do it, guess what? I'm getting my ring back because that's when I can sell it back, get put the money back in my pocket and do something nice for me because you're going to eventually move on and you're going to get another piece of jewelry from another guy, right? That's, that's just you no know, life, right? So... Let's see how he is able to find a master plan to get this ring back. Because he's already stated, you know what, I need to get my ring back. How does he do it? And then that's what I did. Had the fake one created and started, hey, missed you. Come on back and do all that stuff. Come so she came over with the ring. No, not just like later on. That's like, you know, that's like months later, like four or five months later. Okay. And then, you know. And the whole thing was about the ring. And then, yeah. And then played house. So for you played house for four months. To get that four hundred thousand dollar ring. No, no. After it was four months, and then I had the ring, and then start playing, uh, uh, start playing a house again, and then but always, but I never switched it. I just knew that I can switch it at any time, and then years later, and then I eventually switched it, put that one in the safety deposit, and then she just had the fake one, and she never noticed. So, what Mister Gilbert Arenas did? They broke up for whatever reason. Things went sideways. They broke up. So he buys the fake ring that looks identical to the one he gifted her. And he does his best to befriend her with success, befriends her once again, gets her to move back in. No, yes, is he faking the relationship? Is he faking the interaction? Absolutely. I don't care. I would have did it too. He fakes the relationship in an attempt to get the ring back. And at some point, he is successful with... Uh, doing the switcheroo on this young lady and getting the ring back. Now, ladies, if you're watching this show, yes. Is it sound petty to you probably? Absolutely. I understand it. However, put yourself in Mr. Gilbert Arena's shoes. If you buy a man a very expensive gift and you break up with him, okay, you are no longer together mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever, you break up completely, are you going to get the ring back from him? Are you going to get the car back or the house back or whatever the high dollar item is? I bet you, if you're watching me, you're a young lady or older lady, right? You are going to get that property back. You might even sue him. You might try to take it you know, by force, whatever, but you're going to get it back. And you will have more resources to get it back than Mr. Gilbert Arenas will. Or myself, being a normie, you'll have more resources than I will to get said item, said property back. Let's finish this up. When did she find out that the ring was fake? I think once we broke up and it was all said and done and, and she started like really going at me in the media. Like when she started like, when we first broke up, I didn't do anything. It was like, she was fine, nothing, you know, no problems. And then I won like custody. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I guess one of her friends, um, one of the married women, was basically telling her that um, you need full custody. So you need to, you know, he needs to be a danger. He needs to do this so you can put a restraining order on him. That whole little Hollywood bullshit. Yeah. So that's when the fight started happening. And then once that started happening, and then, um, you know, me being a troll that I am, I put, I took a picture, put the ring on it, and bop. <laughs> And oh, she, you had the original ring. Yeah, I had the original ring and, and you, posted it online. You posted it online. Yeah. And then what? She and went to go I check it out and realized. Probably went to go check it out and probably realized she had the fake one. And then from there, a Fallon came in that I, I robbed her. And then then became, then she filed a lawsuit to get the ring back. Mm -hmm. And then common law marriage. And it was, then there was two lawsuits. One was about the ring. One was about child support. Now, I will stop the reaction there. But you see what happened, right? Of course, like I just said, the young ladies will have the. I'm sorry, I'm stop giving age here. The ladies will have more resources to get property back than a man will. And also, as he just revealed, he had a child or children with this woman. So, an attempt to, and he got full custody. So, we all understand that full custody is the L for women. I'm sorry to say this, but that is what it is. I'm a man, okay? 50% custody is the L for women. I'm sorry. I'm a man. That's the way it is in, 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 in the world, okay? All right, that's just the way it is. 
uh please do not put your own personal um uh anecdotal evidence to this in general speaking that's where it is all right now he said that you know he did he got full custody and she was salty about it so she went on a campaign to make him look bad i.e get the children back get child support get whatever monetary gain she can get out of the situation because she is now taking a loss in the situation of the breakup and so now but to be honest with you what gil arenas did was uh, in my opinion uh it was dumb Ain't no to Ain't no fucking it was dumb for him to go on there and post the ring that was him being petty and i think it, it and it didn't work in his favor because it just caused more drama for him me i would just left him to stay in the shadows and in myself i would have had a personal victory that i got the real ring she probably would have figured it out a lot later on but it would have been too late to do anything about it she could just you know eat crap but in any case it is what it is but let me take you to the article now where it shows uh, the result of said situation let's go here this is from the jasmine brand this was back in september 2nd of 2016 after all of the litigation by the way hold on before we do that this is another one this is in 2016 september gil arena's being awful at life streak ends with std lawsuit she also took him to court alleging that he gave her an std all right, this is uh, what we consider defamation because it will be found that he did not do it, as you can see right here. God, I had you feel oh, like wait a minute, doggone it. Where does yeah. this come from? Hold on, uh, Dag Nabbit. Uh, Hold on. There we go. Now, reality star Laura Govin loses support suit against Gilbert Arenas. Let us read the article, okay? A judge has shut down Laura Govin's assault against former fiance Gilbert Arenas that claimed she was entitled to half of his fortune after they lived together as husband and wife. Now, they were together, we were also like 10 years from like 2002 to 2013, something like that. It was almost like 10 years because she says that they were together even before he got his big NBA contracts. LA Superior Court Judge Stephanie Bowick this week dismissed Govin's lawsuit against the father of her four children. Yeah, Good bitch. Night. Yeah, bitch. For lack of prosecution, before because she's repeatedly failed to show up for court hearings, that's uh that was dumb on her part. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. According to court papers obtained by Bossip, Govin didn't turn up for the last for the latest hearing on August 29th either, and neither did her lawyer. So she could have got a bag, but she failed to show up. That was lazy on her part, and she took the L. Govin filed a Marvin action against Arenas last year, alleging he promised to equally share his assets, income, and other investments with her that he made during their relationship. But in 2014, Govin said Arenas dumped her and reneged on the promise, kicking her out of their LA mansion. And she said he took back, later sold the $1 million engagement ring. However, Arena's lawyer, David Bass, said that Arena's never agreed to continue to pay for Govin's lifestyle after they split up and said she gave Arena's her engagement ring back herself. Bass said they think Govin stopped moving forward with the case when she realized she would not be able to prove her claims. This is from his legal representation. Mr. Arena's is pleased with the dismissal of the Marvin action and pleased that he will not have to waste money defeating, I'm sorry, defending, defeating her frivolous lawsuit, Bash told Bossip. He was fully prepared to defend the action through trial and had every confidence that he would prevail. Now, later on in the uh, video by DJ Vlad, he says that, you know what, he got a chance to speak with her briefly and said, look, yeah, I sold the ring. And if you keep taking me litigation, I'm going to use the money that I sold the ring with to pay for litigation that you had putting against me. So continue your litigation because at the end you will get nothing out of it anyway. And because she can't prove, you know, this is back in 2014 when, you know, there was actually some kind of, you know, unbiasedness in the court system, family court, still like that. Um, she lost because she, A, was too lazy to show up for court and B, did not have enough evidence to prove her claims. And well, that was that. And Gilda Ren has moved on with his life, and now he is on top, and she is probably on the bottom. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. And that concludes this story, all right? So, let me know what y'all think about this story down in the comment section. And with that being said, thank you for attending another episode of Normieville. You know me. I'm just a normie here to bring you the latest and greatest in sports, news, entertainment, and politics. Let me know what you think about this petty 
but triumphant story down in the comment section and please please hit the like button hit the subscribe button and the notification bell on your way out of the door and i will see you on the next video